Hey, we're back in Morrowind. Uh, I know there's a funny sound with the mic. It's new. I'm getting used to it. So you're going to have to work with it for now. Anyway, uh, I've done some work on my house down here. We can go check it out. If you're noticing these stars on my screen, it's because I have this fancy shield at the moment. Oh, yeah. And uh, still got my fur helm. It's such a silly hat. Uh, got a new robe. Some new shoes, some new gloves. I'm pretty much even better than I was before. Still can't cast fireballs though. So let's head on down and go inside. Can I help you out? Do you need something? Do get off me. So immediately to our right here, I have some books, some fancy jewelry, actually some of the best jewelry in the game. And uh, we guys still got our guy. He's loaded with way more ingredients than before, so he's never gonna, what's that word, rot, I guess. He'll just mummify. Found some cool spears. The stolen ones, and I found ninja stars, so if I want to play ninja, or a cool hammer if I feel like crushing skulls, and some darts, you know, if I get bored. This table's pretty much the same. Same with this table. The candles, there's more candles, that's for sure. And I found a bell hammer. I guess you'd, you know, use it to ring bells. Over here I've made some additions. My drum circle. Oh, cool. Uh, this is the fat loot. The only difference is that, is that it weighs more than these other loots. And uh, you'll notice a skull on top of these. These crates here, these are all holding souls of things that I've killed. They're all full of soul gems, and they're all filled. So, you know, I'm hoarding the souls of the dead. Oh, pillow fort. As you can see, the pillow fort is coming along very well. Let's go have a tour inside. Oh yeah. This is great. The pillow fort is also where I'm holding some of my Daedric items. A battle axe, some boots, and a shield. I do have some other fancy Daedric items here. A massive samurai sword. Moving on. If you guys remember from last time, we had Lord Bryn. Well, I found him some friends. I found D. Bryant, G. Lingus, uh, Pop G, and Scourge, who his head is mounted on a plaque. And I got him some paper now, so he can actually write real memoirs, and as you can see, he's been hard at work making rough drafts. Oh, and I brought him a googly-eyed friend, because I thought it was, you know, he could use a googly-eyed friend. And for those of you who remember, the nice lady who lives in this room. Is there something I can do for you, Outlander? Shh. I got her... Well, she... I noticed this book on the shelf, so I figured she was a religious woman. So I put another one on her bed. And, you know, for protection when I'm not here, I gave her a war axe that I found in a tomb. And a uh, miner's pick. Yeah. And uh, since I felt she might be uh, not doing her fair share of the chores around here, I gave her a broom, a bucket, and uh, a ladle. She'll figure out what the ladle's for. I don't know. Back up to my room. We have the unnamed book. It's the biggest book I've ever seen. And I don't know what it's about. Because I can't... There's no title. Under my bed is Elidon's Ward. Best tower shield in the game. So it sits under my bed, obviously. Some random stuff over here. My bed clothes. The Robe of St. Roris. This, game, this thing used to be bugged to shit in the very first version of the game. Where it'd make you invincible if you wore it. And it was awesome. Oh, and my pride. Here we go. 
So we have, I've collected the three Daedric masks in the game. The face of God, the face of terror, and the face of inspiration. And I stuck them next to this candle I found that glows red for mood lighting. And now we all sleep in the same room in close proximity to each other. And you'll remember my balcony. I did finally unlock the door. Who needs doors anyway? So in other news though, since I'm now the Grand Master of House Telvani, they built me a nice house to call my own. Now where'd that spell go? Hey, there we go. So we're going to go visit that one and have a peek through there. I haven't really been there yet. I just walked by the front of it to mark the spot so I didn't have to travel the huge distance that it is. Because we are here. It is here. So instead of that, we'll just do this. There it is. My new palace. Guarded by robots. Come on, you know that was cool. It's basically a big seed pot, and I also got this guy guarding me. That's how they say hello in their language. There's tons of little houses around it. I think it's like servants' quarters or something, but people actually live there. So the lower tower, Tel Uverith. Oh man, we can't even see in here. Torch. Okay, so... I have robots guarding me inside. He looks a little stuck. Let's head up, I guess. No, let's not. What's over here? Oh, hey. Alright, so we have one bed, a shelf full of garbage. Napkins. They must want me to write memoirs. Some beds. Okay, this can be the guest room, I guess. A chest. Probably nothing in there. Hey, you got unstuck. Good for you. So heading down. Try to save any doors. Ooh, what's going on here? A dungeon? Oh man, they gave me a dungeon? This is going to be cool. I know it. Oh, never mind. Oh, I spoke too soon. What's going on here? What's this crazy noise I hear? It's like all rumbly. Lava. Sweet. Oh, a dead person. Doink. Oh, that's awesome. I approve. This is a fitting palace for the Arch Magister of House Telvani. We haven't even seen the whole thing yet either. So I guess we'll head back up to that other door that we passed earlier. Tell Uverith. Oh, a study. Nice. I like jokes, but that was the worst joke book ever. Lots of things to harvest ingredients from. That's nice. Ah. Oh. Okay, so as is customary with every Telvani mansion or stronghold, you need a lot of levitate to get to places you want to go. Luckily, I can do that. Ooh, I almost missed this. Oh, okay. So what's the point of this down here? 
just to look good. Oh, a thing. Oh! My dining room is in a very confusing place in here. I'm going to starve. At least the table's set. Oh, what's this? Is this my master bedroom? Ooh. A bone charm. Expensive clothes. Eh, no skill books. Some petals. Am I trying to s mood lighting something? A shield. Oh, that looks like a big crab claw. Okay, well that was that. Oh, I don't have any magic. There, I'm stuck. Alright, so let's work our way all the way up to the top here. To this door. Oh. Is that it? These other Council Telvani members had much bigger houses. Oh, there's a cliff racer. I saw you. Well, I mean, I guess this isn't too bad. It's more places to throw my stuff, since if you notice, the last house is getting a little full. Kind of disappointed by the lack of amenities, though. Oh, neat. I'm back in the study. Okay, so I guess that's my new house. Alright. This is a confusing house. And my robot servants seem to be often in the way. There we go. No need to explore the servants' quarters. They're probably shabby and unkempt. Oh, really? Really, robot man? You're just gonna let this thing through and attack me? You're just gonna ignore that. So, I guess I'll show you what I do as a mage. I don't shoot fireballs, I absorb things' health and like that. This spell's too weak. Moving down my spell list here. There we go. Oh my god, it knocked me down. You ass! And now- Oh, stop it! This is almost embarrassing. See? I don't die this way can't touch this. And I'm going to take your insides and make potions out of them. Okay, so that's my new house, my old house, and kind of everything I've been doing up till now. Hope you guys liked it. <laughs>